welcome to another video. So here we're going to talk about camera bags. So you'll see from the title I've bought a new bag but we'll quickly go over this one first. So this is my Shimoda Explore V2 uh, 35 litre. I uh, had it about a year and a half now and I've definitely put it through its paces. It's showing some wear and tear. Overall it's been pretty good but as a photographer uh, you'll, many of you will have the, the anxiety that we all get when we're at the airport and we have something like this in a, as our carry-on. Particularly when I've had this loaded up I've uh, exceeded the carry-on weight by double. Uh, I've had this up to about 14 kilos which uh, is uh, a fairly hefty kit to have as carry-on and uh, it starts to wear thin when you're trying to swing this around as if it weighs less than seven kilos. Um, so I started considering uh, other bags that might be uh, a little bit more subtle for carry-on, um, something that would be able to take my entire kit still, um, uh, including looking at the, both the 30 and the 25 litre versions of this, um, until Shimoda announced the Urban Explore series. So I saw that get announced on Kickstarter and I was like, mm, okay, we'll, we'll look at those for uh, an alternative, uh, especially because the largest one comes in at the 30 litre. So I figured that would be a good alternative. Slightly smaller than this, a little bit less backpackery looking. Um, but uh, yeah, so I started looking at that. We'll uh, move on from this. So we'll move on from that guy. And here is the Shimoda Urban Explore. So it's in the boa color and I probably got that so you'd all know that I have the new bag. So if you're gonna get the new bag, you gotta get the new color. It's the rules. So unfortunately, uh, due to the unique way my brain works, I uh, seem to have ordered the 25 liter instead of the 30 liter. So I ended up with an even smaller bag than anticipated. The big question is, will this fit my entire GFX kit? And if so, anything else as well? Uh, a few things to note on this, the zips on this are a lot nicer to use. They're less chunky than the ones on the Explore V2, but they're, yeah, they're just a lot smoother. Uh, I do prefer the tripod mounting system on the Explore V2 over this. This is definitely a little bit more urban sort of friendly looking, but the, the pull-out pockets on the, on the Explore V2 I think are a lot better suited for especially larger tripods. So what I'll do is I'll move you to a bird's eye view. We'll um, go over this like we did with the what's in my bag videos and uh, see exactly what I've squeezed into here. But uh, before we get into that, uh, a couple of updates. Uh, first one is I am moving house, uh, moving down to the South Island. I finally decided to make that push. So videos in the next couple of months might be a little bit few and far between, uh, as if they haven't already been. But yeah, I have a, a house that I need to pack up and sell up here, and then obviously purchase one down there and, and move house down south. Um, but the cool thing about that is, uh, part two to the announcements, is that I will be hosting a workshop with Rachel Gillespie down in the Mackenzie region of the South Island, uh, focusing on Milky Way panoramas and landscapes in that area. So. It'll be four days and three nights, pretty pretty epic location, so if you're interested, there'll be a link in the description below. Uh, if not, uh, I may, might even vlog that, so we'll see how that goes. Um, so, let's move on with this and uh, see what I've managed to get in here. Alright, here she is. So, you can see how I was mentioning these tripod pockets. Nothing down the bottom here to let sand out like the, uh, the Explore V2 ones, but moving on to the bag itself. So we have a nice big front pocket with its own little sort of section down there. There is a little air tag hidden thing in there as well. Uh, flip it over to the back. In here, there's a little secret pocket. This is where I'm going to get my fingers in there, stash my SD cards, makes them nice and handy from here. So, place your bets now, have I got the GFX kit in here? Let's find out. And the answer is, yes I do. So, we have the GFX 100S and the 2235 mounted to the body. New to the kit, 
So if you remember in my what's in my bag video, I talked about upgrading the 35 to 70 to the 45 to 100. That's what I've done. So we now have the 45 to 100 in here as well. And then finally, the 100 to 200. So that's my GFX kit. Uh, I've also sold off the 80 mil 1.7. Uh, sad to see that go, but uh, in order to have this, I had to see that go along with the 35 to 70. So this covers my main photography kit now. Um, the extender for this lives in the top, so we'll have a look to see what else we have up there as well. So flip this over again. In this top pocket, I have new camera. So this is the Fujifilm X-H2S and the XF16 to 55 2.8. So this is going to be my video kit from now on. Um, my poor X-T4 pooped its pants and died. So I'm still shooting on the borrowed one from Fujifilm NZ, uh, but have since upgraded to the X-H2S for video. So this is the entirety of my current X-mount kit. So we'll be shifting Astro to the GFX kit entirely using the Rokinon 24mm f1.4 uh, adapted via a Fringer adapter. So that's what you're actually filming on now on the X-T4 that I've borrowed from Fujifilm. So cool beast, uh, more video camera than I have a right to but uh, we'll um, see how that goes in the future. Uh, case filters, so that is the 95mm set that I've got which um, runs entirely on the GFX system and the extender and then all the batteries sitting there as well so you can see quite a lot of space up top there so we've got batteries and the extender there's more pockets in the front there I should actually put the batteries in there I suppose it's probably smarter the extender to go in there filters and XH2S so it actually fits my entire GFX kit and video kit so I could actually take this out vlogging with me um, I could attach the uh, the travel tripod so that's the Surui tripod that I use for uh, video and lightweight and um, yeah and then just carry my big FLM in my hand like I normally do anyway so there we have it Shimoda Urban Explore 25 litre takes the GFX kit nicely. So this will be probably more of a travel bag. Uh, the Explore V2 will be my still be my everyday bag. It does carry a lot more. It is more comfortable to wear in the longer term uh, than this. But uh, yeah, for jumping on a plane and, and flying somewhere, this is gonna do the job nicely. If you've made it this far into the video, you might as well hit subscribe you've watched the entire thing uh, if you'd hit like as well that would be fantastic really helps the channel out and um, yeah thanks for watching